What's up guys, welcome back to the garage once again, and today, dude, we're gonna be spraying the engine and the head. You know what, I completely forgot to mention in, uh, in the last video that I did decide, actually, to do the head as well. Well, you guys decided. I didn't really care um, either way, you know what I'm saying? So, and I, I agree with what a lot of you guys are saying. I, I think it's just gonna look better if it all matches, you know what I'm saying? Am I bringing, you know what I'm saying, back or what? <laughs> it never left, right? It never left. Anyhow, before we get into this, man, I actually have a box of stuff that I kinda need to show you guys. All right, now we're not really gonna be getting into these today, but I wanted to at least open them up and show them to you because honestly, I've had them sitting here for like a week now, so. But Oxbeam was generous enough to send out some products once again. Uh, if you guys don't remember, they sent us the, um, the LED light bulbs for Max, and I also have, no, I, actually that was it. But anyhow, they sent us out a couple of pod lights, pod LED lights, and these are the, the I forget exactly what they're called. Oh, right here. Ox beam, side, bottom, mount, instruction, oh, yeah, never mind. Anyhow, uh, these actually light up through the side as well, so um, they're pretty cool. And they also sent a couple switches that I can use if I can find somewhere that that big old guy will fit. And they sent me a couple wiring harnesses that are, uh, these are those switches that, that make the lights automatically come on whenever it gets dark and then they shut off whenever the sun comes up, you know, like some vehicles have standard. But yeah, they, they said I don't even need to do a review on these. They're just sending them to me as a gift, which is really cool. But yeah, shout out to Oxbeam once again. I actually know exactly what I'm going to be using these for. I'm going to be using them as headlights for one of the builds on the channel. Make your guesses down below in the comments section which one of the builds uh, you think that I could possibly use these as headlights on. Alright guys, I'm gonna get this thing rolled around out back and get a spray, dude. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do here is basically just, uh, if I could stand. I'm gonna be scuffing up the primer. It's the same as painting anything else, dude. You prime it and then you kind of scuff the primer to get it all nice and smooth because the primer can sometimes be a little rough, you know? Uh, you get any imperfections out and whatever. What I'm gonna be using is a 320 flex pad. Not nothing too aggressive. You don't wanna leave really deep scratches. Just, you're just trying to get everything all nice and smooth before you get it all wet, you know what I mean? There's a dirty joke in there somewhere. <laughs> It's time to start spraying now just the same as I did the transmission uh, I do basically three coats the first coat is like kind of real light just kind of you know skimming it on there you want to be able to still see the primer through the first coat second coat is going to be a little heavier you want to actually bring the paint to a shine with the second coat and you shouldn't see any of the primer third coat is basically the same as the second coat just a nice heavy coat get everything to a shine you basically want to let the paint in between coats like tack up, you want it to be sticky, not completely dry and not wet. You just want it to be sticky, if that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna start spraying. All right, so here's the first coat, and like I said, it's just a really light coat. You're not gonna even, you'll be able to see the primer through it like you can here. 
just kind of dust it on. You want to let it tack up a little bit. And a good way to test that are these places where I have it taped off. You can kind of touch it and it's a little tacky. So we're just about ready for the second coat. And another good thing to note, man, uh, whenever you're spraying something like this, you need a kind of, I didn't really do it with the first coat. The second coat, I'm gonna try a little harder to get inside of like all the little crevices and everything. You know what I mean? You wanna just lightly use your gun, just a little, tss, tss, you know, different angles, just to make sure you get the whole thing covered. It really sucks, I've, I've done it before, you know what I mean? Get something finished and you're like unmasking it and you realize that you missed the entire area and it's still like primer. Yeah, that sucks. So just be aware of that, man, especially on something like the block. There's all kinds of little crevices that you can miss, man. So just be aware. But yeah, dude, I'm going to put it on a time lapse and get the second coat shot on there and catch back up with you. <laughs> Holy shit. Whew. Dude, that color looks so fucking good, man. God, that color looks good. All right, second coat. Second coat is a lot wetter. And you can't really see, like, you, you can't see the primer. There are some little, like, nooks and crannies where I can still see primer that I'm going to have to make sure on the third coat that I get it. But holy crap man it looks so sick Whew. all right i'm gonna show you What do you guys think, man? Be honest with me. Is that not the sickest fucking color you've ever seen? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Um, I know that I did mention that in the in the comments on the last video, or was it the video before? I don't know. One of the videos I was talking with you guys, um, and I I was kind of interested in spraying it black because I like the way black contrasts with the khaki color of the Civic. But dude, I'm I'm so happy I went with this color. Like my my original idea whenever I made this color was for it to not look like aluminum, but to look like steel, like a like iron. You know what I mean? Like that that's the look I was going for. While I don't think it necessarily looks like it's an, an iron block because it has so much metallic in it. I mean, you could tell it's paint. Um, but I do love how it came out, man. It, it looks really good. How it's coming out. We still have one more coat. Anyhow, um, the reason why I didn't go with the black is because, like, I like to be different, dude. And Boosted Boys just painted their K-Swap black. And then I noticed that uh, Hush Performance was out there. And whenever he was showing, um, whenever he was showing them the hatch, I guess his block and everything's all painted black also. Like, I just, I just, I, after seeing that, and it was right after I was saying, I'm going to paint my engine black, you know. That's kind of the reason why I decided not to. Because I just, I wanted, I wanted to be different, you know what I mean? And that's, that's kind of uh, what I'm about, dude. I like to be different from everybody else, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's kind of the reason why I painted over that SI teal color that the hatch came, that the hatch originally was. I know a lot of people hate that, but... The thing is, is you see so many of them, man. Like, hell, you can go to, like, a, a fucking meetup and there'll be two other ones there, you know? The same fucking color. Shit. Anyhow, dude, um, I'm going to get this last coat on the block and head on the long block. And then we'll roll it into the garage.
And that's pretty much all I have to say. got it all sprayed I can start doing some more assembly you know what I'm saying I want to tell you guys thank you so much for all your support even though I haven't been putting out a lot of content the channel's still been growing so welcome to all the new subscribers thank you guys for coming and joining the family of course to all the new guys make sure you guys are catching up on all the old videos and drop some likes I mean if you like the video of course if you don't you need to just lower your standards a little bit and we're good no but for real uh, if you guys aren't aware I know a lot of you already are we have a Facebook group called built not bot it'll be in the description down below click on that link make sure that if you are subscribed to the channel then obviously you are a do-it-yourself uh, build it yourself type of motherfucker like all of us and you know you'll fit right in over at Build Not Bot dude make sure to come join the group every so often I liked it's been a while since I've done this but I like to uh, ask you know all the members on there to post up pictures of their builds whatever it is they're working on and I'll share pictures of their cars at the end of one of my videos and which that's what I'm gonna do right now at the end of this video so Shout out to my Build Not Bop fam. Thank you guys for all of your support. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said earlier, if you didn't, you need to lower your standards a little bit. Smash the like button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Sexy and I know it